Hey Dumplings, it's Dave Decide. Today we have some tea from y'all. I wanted to talk about V and his new possible song and what the theories are and what has been going viral recently that prompted all this. I also want to get into V and his change of hair color. So, hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Go grab your dumpling, tea spilling mug merch, and let's get into it. The first thing that I wanted to get into today is V and his new hair for the new comeback. There has been rumors that BTS is having a comeback soon, and a lot of rumors have to do with some of the things BTS. BTS has posted on their Instagram. Something as little as them writing me or we all in quotes is enough to signal to the army gods and let us know that something may be up or about to happen. We know that the concert in Seoul is still looking strong to happen and of course while BTS is performing and building a momentum, it's usually a good sign they'll release something. So everything is a clue to armies. People were even going back to old videos and noticing hints that Big Hit might be bringing up again. Sometimes what Big Hit or Hype will do is they'll take a thing from ages ago Go, like a sign or a drawing and they'll repurpose that drawing in their new concept so it connects with their old work. It almost feels cohesive. Now I'd love to give the benefit of the doubt say it was all planned and it could be but I don't know anyone that thinks that far ahead especially if they didn't even know BTS would renew their contract or that they might have had an English song first but hey it's totally possible. This new concept could be what BTS was planning on doing much sooner they just never got the chance to. Basically someone brought up this image from the most beautiful moment in live music video series where it said own in graffiti on the wall and then it was reversed. Some people took this to mean that this new album and concept was hinted back then because the we and me in quotes that the members posted about recently are also reverse images of each other. So it's either a hint or we're all clowns again. Clowns make 50k a year and I'm coming up with this clown rate for free here. Of course this wasn't the only hint online. There were definitely more. If you aren't aware hair is a big one. When idols decided to dye their hair, bleach it different colors or even a different style of hair, this all contributes to this idea of what the new album is going to look and sound like. Because obviously if the hair is grungy and emo-like, then we get a more punk or rock sounding album. So if it's more modern cuts with bright colors, we get something like Dynamite where it's much brighter sounding. For the recent J-Hope or Hobie birthday, Tang posted some photos on Twitter to wish J-Hope a happy birthday. And he didn't initially sign his name or anything. I think he got so used to this idea of him on his solo Instagram account and not needing to explain who was posting it. So while some were speculating who on earth tweeted this happy birthday message, Tan decided to write a whole other post and post that it was him that made the happy birthday wish. Only armies noticed something different. He used an emoji with blonde hair. A little while ago, this was GQ Japan. BTS had done an interview or something, I forget, and the editor posted a picture of BTS on their Instagram. I believe it was an older picture without any new hair colors of the boys. But in the caption, they posted like seven boy emoji. And the way the members are typically organized is by RM first and then ascending from oldest to youngest. So in that order, ARMY decided that Jimin would have had orange hair. And then when GQ later deleted the emoji, which made it more suspicioso. Now going back to Tang's Twitter post that he made for J-Hope's birthday, if you go through the list of emojis available and emojis available with that same expression, you only have a blonde boy doing it. It's not like there was one with black hair to choose from. At least I don't see it. So if he wanted to make that expression, there was only one choice. I don't think he's blonde right now, but maybe he can be. I would personally love to see a blonde Tang. I think that would be so hot. We have seen him blonde before and he looks great. I do think there is a possibility of going blonde again, but Tang and BTS don't like to reuse the same colors all the time, and they may try to do some colors they haven't done before. There's so many theories as to what the comeback will look like. I honestly don't care what it looks like as long as there is one. It has been so long since we have gotten an actual album with them with proper promotion, like not just promoting one song like with Dynamite, but actually promoting an entire album with bops. I would just be glad to hear them in the studio or on set filming something. Like they can be working on a country album and sure, yeehaw, let's go country today. Surprisingly or unsurprisingly, there were signs before BTS's break that something was in the works. V always posts something during the holidays and usually releases a just a cute song for us armies. Now we didn't have a song just for us, but V did actually make a song as an OST called Christmas Tree. It's a beautiful song. This was released on Christmas Eve and I believe was then put out into the show Our Beloved Summer. This was such a shock because it was apparent that Taeyang wouldn't release anything this year for Christmas, but we did get a bop that came out for an OST, which actually broke records and immediately went on the top trending and people were so happy about it. The song did so well, I think because it was unexpected, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's backtrack. What happened? An artist posted a photo of Taeyang and Jungkook that was drawn by them. So it was beautifully done and this army is definitely a professional. The drawing was a 
drawing of Tang and Jungkook from the James Corden photo, the one that got stolen. But to a lot of the Tang and Jungkook shippers, it was interesting because they felt like Tang had responded to a Taekook fan art and confirmed that Taekook was real and dating. Given that Tang has been open about LGBT community and also that it was alleged that the BT21 character Tata was gender neutral. So people assumed that Tang might be gay or people assumed that this was his way of coming out by responding to the fan art. But the artist was not a Taekook shipper at all and Tang had allegedly reacted and commented on her drawings before. So it was just an innocent rendition of a photo that Tang had commented and nothing really more than that. I don't think we should judge every action that the boys do to mean something. Whatever your theories of the boys dating and who they might be dating is fine, but if Tang was actually dating someone, he probably wouldn't comment on the photo with them in it. Like if someone drew a photo of Tang and IU together, he probably would avoid commenting on that like the plague. Also given that this drawing was a drawing of a photo that already existed and it was just a portrait, I don't want to say copy because it is a copy, but it's like a different take on it. And it's a good thing, whereas a copy doesn't sound that good. Anyway, Tang wrote on the post or drawing that unfortunately he would not be releasing a song and to wait until next Christmas in the comments. And some thought that it would be a gay love song given the photo he commented on. But I don't think this is true. He simply commented on fan art and just wanted to let ARMY know what was going on in his mind. But this does tell us that they have been working on something, likely since December. So this is very exciting and I can't wait to see what happens next. The main thing that everyone is wanting and the reason why people were so excited about this comment he made on his photo is because fans have been waiting a long time for a Taeyang and Jungkook subunit song. I do believe they have had some in the past, but we want more. Both their voices blend so well together and makes great music. People online were concerned if things like this or people freaking out over Taekook is one of the reasons Taekook is a lot more subtle now. Like they do interact, but it's a lot less on camera because the theory is that Taeyang might be scared to cause controversy by interacting more or is simply uncomfortable with the ships. However, if he was, he could say something. He could actually simply just say, stop shipping us all together or something more broad that doesn't specifically refer to Taekook, but ships in general. He seems to only really mind when the dating rumors cause severe hate to the people around him. This is the incident where someone accused him of dating a CEO's daughter at a museum. She got so much hate that of course Tang was going to be bothered by it. Any normal person would be. And it's this idea that Tang will never have a normal life because whoever he is next to will get hate. But typically with the ships, the members don't get hate or at least more hate than they normally do. Unfortunately, they'll get hate no matter what. Either way, I am glad to see Tan out here living his life and enjoying his break. I have no doubt he has tons of new music in the works and ready to release once he comes back. So definitely something to be excited about. And I want to see what the hair color might actually be. Let me know what you think and if you want to see more K-pop reaction videos, go to my Patreon, a link below. I can't post them here due to copyright, but you can get all sorts of reaction videos and requests over there. It's a great way to support the channel even more if you would like to. Thank you so much for this lovely comment right here. I love you so much. There'll be some videos that will pop up on screen and I will see you over there. Bye.